So today, we're going to be taking a look at the High Boy EX6, which is a Class 3 electric step-through fat tire bike that's made for comfort and affordability. So in this video, I'm going to be going over the assembly process and go in-depth on the features, specs, and build of this bike. So now, let's get to it. The EX6 comes in your standard bike box, but it is pretty heavy, so make sure to be careful in moving it, and if possible, have someone help you move it. After opening, the bike comes assembled by 85%. All you have to do is install the handlebars, attach the front light, put on the front wheel, attach the front fender, and install the pedals. Included in the box were the necessary tools, and the whole process only took me about 20 to 25 minutes. If you're a beginner mechanic, you should have no problem putting the bike together yourself. After assembling and when I went through the bike, all the bolts were tight and the shifting was perfect, and there was no adjustments needed. The EX6 is made with a steel frame and has a matte black paint job, but you can also get it in white as well. The battery is located behind the seat so the bike can have as much step through room as possible and still staying unobtrusive to the rider. The welds on the frame are surprisingly nice, and I've gone over this frame multiple times and the welds are consistent throughout. Other than the welds, one part that I think Highboy did a really good job on was the cable management. What Highboy did is they used these cable management coils and bundled the cables together so there's no stray cables. The cables are internally routed to keep the clutter at a minimum, giving the bike a much cleaner look. There's not a lot of information on the geometry of this bike, so I measured some of the major geometry points, and here they are. The minimum seat height from the ground is 34 inches. The maximum seat height from the ground is a little over 44 inches. Measuring from the ground to the stem, the minimum handlebar height is 37 inches, and the maximum handlebar height is 40 inches. The seat tube length is approximately 420 millimeters. The top tube length is about 540 millimeters. The reach is 440 millimeters. The head tube length is 145 millimeters. The wheelbase is 1,120 millimeters. The overall length is about 1,600 millimeters. The chain stays are 500 millimeters. The weight is 66 pounds. And EX6 costs $1,200. The motor is a 500 watt brushless motor that provides both pedal assistance and throttle only assistance up to 25 miles an hour. It has a lithium ion battery rated at 14.5 amp hours and has an estimated range of 75 miles depending on your assist level and 40 miles of pure electric throttle range. And in order to remove the battery, all you have to do is hit the lever under the seat, fold the seat up, unlock the battery, and pull up. The display is an EN06 and it displays the power level, battery level, and miles per hour. It also has an odometer, trip meter, voltage meter, and a timer. The EX6 comes with a 300 lumen light with a horn, and both are activated by a switch on the handlebars. It also comes with a rear tail light that also serves as a brake light. The fork has 28 millimeter stanchions, a 20 millimeter offset, and 75 millimeters of travel. The bike has no-name handlebars, but they have a measurement of a 640mm width. The bike comes with 20-inch fat tire wheels and tires with a 4-inch width. It also comes with Schrader tubes. It comes with an unbranded crank set with a 42-tooth chainring. The shifter and derailleur are Shimano Turney with 7 speeds and 28-tooth cassette. The brakes are Jack Super Brake Mechanical Disc Brakes with 160mm rotors in the front rear and Wuxing levers. It has a no-name saddle with a length of 255 millimeters and a width of 185 millimeters. It has a lot of padding and surprisingly comfortable. The EX6 also comes with a metal rear rack and it measures five and a half inches wide and 14 and a half inches long. And I did speak to High Boy about the weight capacity and they said it can handle up to 176 pounds, but I've not verified this yet. So there's the full rundown of the specs and build for the High Boy EX6. I plan to do some extensive testing on this bike to test its riding characteristics, both on and off-road, testing its range, comfort, and weight capacity of the rear rack. So if you have any questions about this bike, please put them in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great one.